Hello guys, I hope you're having a great time on Seasonal Discovery so far. Everybody spends these days with their friends and their loved ones, so naturally I was doing nothing and decided to make a video. This video is basically an excuse to wish you all a happy new year, but I will at least try to put some useful information in it. Now as nearly everyone knows, but still sometimes I get the question, what is one of the easiest ways to make money on any class? That is doing quests. Since 25 is the current max level, the XP you would normally gain is turned into gold. Most quests will therefore award you several gold. You can also redo them on each of your alts, but if you plan on questing when the next phase comes out, of course the quests will not reset. You may want to look at another way to farm gold. I have several videos on that that might help. That being said, some quests won't be there, and that is what I want to look at today, the seasonal quests, as doing these now will not slow you down later down the road. There are three quests you can pick up in Ironforge or Okimar respectively. One of them is Stolen Winterville Trees. For both factions, this will require you to go to Alteric Mountains and talk to a strange snowman. Then you will have to go and kill a high-level elite mob, so this quest will require a group. Doing this will net you around 6 gold and a smoky wood pasture special gift containing a profession pattern. The next one is Great Grandfather Winter is here, leading into treats for Great Grandfather Winter, where you simply give him 5 gingerbread cookies that can be made with cooking and 1 milk, you can buy these at the inn. But you can simply buy the cookies of the auction house as well, that is what I did, since this rewards about 1 gold, it should still be a profit, even when you bought them off the auction house. This also rewards the Smoky Wood Pastures gift pack containing some profession materials. And lastly, Mets and the Reindeer. To save Mets and the Reindeer, you want to go to either Tenerus for Horde or Searing Gorge for Alliance. You will be given a bag in your inventory when accepting this quest. Open the bag, this contains dust to sprinkle onto Metzen. You want to talk to Metzen and click the option to sprinkle fast, as you will most likely die. The chances of you dying several times on this is pretty high, but you can do this one solo, so even if you are not willing to do the group one, this is an option to go on a little solo adventure. This will net you about 3 gold. Now if you do this on several characters, this will quickly add up and be a nice amount of gold. But the quests only stay up until the 2nd of January, so... Is this a little late to give you this tip? Yes. Yes it is. That's it guys, like I said, have a wonderful year, and I will see you all on the next one.